Hello, everyone. My name is Anthony Ross, SWK Consultant. Uh, I'm going to go over a feature in Sage 100 called Auto Generate Invoices. Uh, it's a useful tool to help you uh, auto select the uh, sales orders that you want to invoice for the day. Uh, and there's a lot of customization that can be used in this as well. Um, so let's go to sales order entry. And I have three sales orders that I've created down here. Um, 35, 36, and 37. And uh, for example, we're going to want to ship everything with a ship date of uh, 224. Uh, and that's these two as well. And not this third one. We want to leave this one off. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and exit and go to our auto generate invoices selection here. This is under sales order and then main. And you see here, when it's, it opens up, uh, we have a lot of options here. Um, we can uh, ship via a sales order range, uh, a sales order date, uh, customers, uh, any salespersons. But we're going to go ahead and just do our 224. Okay. Um, the option up here is uh, ship order complete. Uh, what that's going to do is if you have, for example, one line item uh, on your sales order, it's going to put a ship amount of one once it creates the invoice for you. If you select, if you unselect this, uh, it's not going to uh, put a number in there. It's going to leave it at zero and you can change it if necessary. You can also ship uh, standard or back orders uh, or repeating orders as well. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hit proceed. This is a uh, situation similar to the AP side on your invoice payment selection. Um, you have a range that you're going to input and then you can clear it if necessary. But I like my range. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this print to see my selection listing. I'll just preview it here. And this just shows you the, the two invoices that we were selecting. I'll go ahead and um, select it and we're going to generate this invoice batch you hit yes if for whatever reason whatever you generate doesn't look correct you hit no clear and restart it if necessary I'm gonna hit yes and here it's going to uh, ask you if you want to change the next automatic invoice number if you do go ahead and change it but this is just system generated so i'll just say yes that's fine and then we're going to go over here to invoice data entry and i'll bring up there we go. It generated uh, my two invoices as necessary. Uh, it put the correct uh, ship amounts in here because I had that option selected. Uh, you can make changes if necessary as well. Mm -hmm.